what will the future of work look like? As times are getting crazier and crazier and AI pushing more people out of the labor force, what jobs will be left? It has always been a goal of mine to increase my skill level and to gain as much niche knowledge as possible. Being a jack of all trades but a master of none won't get you anywhere. But a master of one or two key things will make you a subject matter expert. For example, if you know how steam heating systems work and can install, maintain, and fix them, rather than just being good at a little HVAC, a little electrical, and little plumbing. If you are a master and the best in town and are known for your quality work with steam heating systems, in my opinion you will be better off in the long run like that. Becoming the best of the best at a certain thing will only benefit you and your family in this future economy. An age of uncertainty. Will there be enough work for people in the future? Today there is a growing concern about whether there will be enough jobs for workers, given potential automation. History would suggest that such fears may be unfounded. Over time, labor markets adjust to changes in demand for workers from technological disruptions, although at times with depressed real wages. If history is any guide, we could also expect that 8 to 9 percent of 2030 labor demand will be in new types of occupations that have not existed before. Both analyses lead us to conclude that, with sufficient economic growth, innovation, and investment, there can be enough new job creation to offset the impact of automation, although in some advanced economies, additional investments will be needed as per our step-up scenario to reduce the risk of job shortages. A larger challenge will be ensuring that workers have the skills and support needed to transition to new jobs. Countries that fail to manage this transition could see rising unemployment and depressed wages. The magnitude of future job creation from the trends described previously and the impact of automation on the workforce vary significantly by country, depending on four factors. Wage level. Higher wages make the business case for automation adoption stronger. However, low-wage countries may be affected as well. If companies adopt automation to boost quality, achieve tighter production control, move production closer to end consumers in high-wage countries, or other benefits beyond reducing labor costs. Demand growth. Economic growth is essential for job creation. Economies that are stagnant or growing slowly create few, if any, net new jobs. Countries with stronger economic and productivity growth and innovation will therefore be expected to experience more new labor demand. Demographics. Countries with a rapidly growing workforce, such as India, may enjoy a demographic dividend that boosts GDP growth, if young people are employed. Countries with a shrinking workforce, such as Japan, can expect lower future GDP growth, derived only from productivity growth. Mix of economic sectors and occupations. The automation potential for countries reflects the mix of economic sectors and the mix of jobs within each sector. Japan, for example, has a higher automation potential than the United States because the weight of sectors that are highly automatable, such as manufacturing, is higher. What will automation mean for skills and wages? In general, the current educational requirements of the occupations that may grow are higher than those for the jobs displaced by automation. In advanced economies, occupations that currently require only a secondary education or less see a net decline from automation, while those occupations requiring college degrees and higher grow. In India and other emerging economies, we find higher labor demand for all education levels, with the largest number of new jobs in occupations requiring a secondary education, but the fastest rate of job growth will be for occupations currently requiring a college or advanced degree. Workers of the future will spend more time on activities that machines are less capable of, such as managing people, applying expertise, and communicating with others. They will spend less time on predictable physical activities and on collecting and processing data, where machines already exceed human performance. The skills and capabilities required will also shift, requiring more social and emotional skills and more advanced cognitive capabilities, such as logical reasoning and creativity. Wages may stagnate or fall in declining occupations. Although we do not model shifts in relative wages across occupations, the basic economics of labor supply and demand suggests that this should be the case for occupations in which labor demand declines. In conclusion, gain a very specific hard-to-master set of skills, and you will be better off than just learning the bare minimum and not challenging yourself. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the weekend.